killer. Yo, what's going on guys? It's Gamer here back again with another video and today we're going to be reviewing Dragon Ball Super episode 97 and the title for this episode is Survive. The Temple of Power begins at last and indeed has it finally begin at last. It seems like forever ago since we had gotten all the initial leaks and information of the new arc and how it's going to be like a a free-for-all battle royale of different universes fighting each other. It literally feels like forever ago, but yes, episode 97 is where all the action, all the fighting of all 80 warriors from all the different universes and Dragon Ball Super finally begins. The episode starts off with the Great Priest basically uh, just showing up and he's explaining the, the rules uh, once again, explaining the, the fact that it's 100 tacks, which is around 48 minutes in, in Earth's time and stuff like that. Uh, you can't fly. Weapons that are outside of techniques um, are, are not allowed. Uh, you can't... I think, you, I think I already said you can't fly. And if you get knocked off the stage, uh, we actually got a little bit more uh, information on that. If you, get knocked off the, if you get knocked off the stage, then you're going to basically just be put up on the stands or the bleachers where the, your god's destruction and an, an angel and supreme kai are going to be at. That's basically what is going to happen if you fall off the stage supposedly. So of course like we're getting all these uh, these little little scenes and shots of all the, these different fighters from the different universes and it's just a build up. It's just a build up of the actual like fighting actually finally being prepared to begin. And then we get a scene of Gohan basically saying, "We're gonna follow. We're gonna follow the Supreme Kai's plan and just go with teamwork because that's basically gonna be the best thing that we can go with, so we all we all don't get knocked off the fucking stage." And then of course, like Frieza and Vegeta are like, eh, "I don't really want to fucking do that." And we actually get a shot of Frieza with some menacing looking eyes. He looks really creepy, but and he did look really really cool uh, from what I saw. We get another scene from Universe 6's Kale and Kelly Fla, and, Ka and Kale being the character and her personality, how it is, she realizes that all these guys that are here in, this, in the fighting stage for the Tournament of Power are very, very strong, so she's really intimidated and she thinks it's very scary. And then Kelly Fla is trying to say, like, just let out all of your power and all that shit, you know, just be all roary and flashy like how Kale was. Uh, a couple weeks back when she finally went Super Saiyan for the first time and all that jazz so the fighting officially begins and immediately it just starts off with a whole bunch of explosions and key blasts being shot off literally everywhere and there isn't an area where there isn't like a explosion going off everyone's just going at, it at each other and then Universe 7 just sitting there kind of just like oh, just kind of like what the fuck Goku knows this Topo and he immediately, he immediately just draws his attention over towards him. Gohan is like, yo, dad, we gotta use teamwork. And then everyone's just like, well, what do we do now? They all go and do the other their other shit. They go and fight other people. 18's fighting some Pride Trooper warrior from Universe 10. Vegeta's fighting some fucking other asshole, etc, etc. Frieza just goes off and he's shooting like, key blasts at other fuckers. Not giving a shit who he's firing firing them at. It's, it was kind of hilarious. He just did not give a shit. I thought it was really funny. And the fact that the whole plan of them using teamwork basically backfired was like... What did they really expect to be honest? Because this is Goku and the others that we're talking about. They don't, they're not really all about, you know, quote, teamwork and all that stuff, really. Uh, Universe 3, I believe, is... Um, uh, like little cyborgs or whatever that they have built for the tournament of power uh, They're kind of just doing their own thing shooting off blasts. One of them specifically is doing like a tornado like spin attack something that you would see off of fucking Power Rangers He's going around the whole entire fucking arena trying to knock people off and then hit of all people destroys one of the arms and then Basil uh, destroys the other arm and uh, really quick, Basil did a really good job 
in the Terminator Power for the first step for the first episode of Terminator Power. He did really really good for some reason. And of course, you don't know who Basil is. He was in the preliminaries, and he's also a part of the Trio de Dangers gang of Universe Nine. So, anyways, he then goes off and he's fighting this other fairy chick, I guess, from Universe Ten. Uh, he knocks her off, and then of course we get the like whole reveal of like. Yeah, if you get knocked off, you're just going to be put back with your god destruction and Supreme Kai and stuff like that. <laughs> yada, 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 etc, 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 etc. Zeno, both of the Zenos, the Omni Kings, are looking on, I guess, a tablet. They're just kind of like a cheat sheet of all the, the you know, u universe fighters from all the different universes and stuff like that. They're kind of just looking at the specific person that actually fell off, the first person to fall off the ring. And, you know, they're basically eliminated for the tournament. And from what we can tell, their universe isn't going to... It doesn't seem like their universe is going to get immediately destroyed once, you know, all the fighters are knocked off. It seems like it's only going to be able to get destroyed once, like, the whole tournament is basically over. I'm not entirely sure. I'm trying to summarize the episode as the best as I can, to be honest. Just because uh, there was a lot of fighting. There was mainly a whole lot of fighting. And you have to really watch the episode yourself to really enjoy it. You can't really... I can't really talk about something that really piqued my interest besides the fact that this next scene where Gohan, Piccolo, Roshi, Krillin, and Tien are trapped in a corner. It's just them uh, them five together. And then they're, they're surrounded by a whole bunch of different fighters from different universes. Tien sh shoots off a solar flare. Piccolo shoots off a special beam cannon. Krillin shoots off a destructive disc. Uh, and then Roshi... And then Gohan are shooting off a different key blast at some of the other fighters. They're standing there, just kind of, just kind of like it didn't seem, seeming like it doesn't, it didn't really do anything. So this, that's what really makes this tournament of power very interesting. Is that some of these characters that we know and some of these characters that we don't know, it's just showing them off, basically saying this isn't going to be a pushover. A lot of these guys aren't going to be a drastic pushover. It's going to be very, very hard for Universe Seven to be able to do anything against these guys and then this E Honda looking motherfuckers fighting Basil again almost gets knocked off the ring uh, but sadly it doesn't work he like slams his fist onto the stage and then stops himself from moving because Basil actually shot off like three or so key blasts to knock him off but it didn't work right and then of course Goku's sh deflecting off of the key blasts from I think this is a spy from Universe 4, Universe 4, I want to say, like I said, and then he runs away, he knows this Topo shooting off Key Blast at some other dude, I don't know who, uh, he, he's just wanting to fight him, obviously, and seems like Topo seems to want to do the same, Topo ends up fighting someone else, Goku knows his Jiren, and, you know, Jiren, this is the guy that we're being hyped for and teased of this entire time since he was basically announced to be stronger than Topo and we we knew that Topo was very very strong some other guy is trying to go and charge at Jiren to basically kind of just I don't know just attack him or knock, knock him off the ring I guess or just do something Jiren just looks at him he's just standing there he looks at him and then the guy charging at him is just like fuck this I'm gonna go do something else I thought that was really funny because it just shows that Jiren is very intimidating. He's very intimidating, and Goku's very intrigued. He, he's so intrigued that, of course, Goku being Goku, lets his guard down, gets trapped in a fucking reverse bear hold right behind him. The dude that grabbed him is trying to force him off the fucking stage. It doesn't work. He goes into his blue form, knocks off the guy who, who had a hold on him, onto him, off the stage, Goku barely makes it on back uh, back onto the stage and all that stuff and Beerus is like why aren't you in your blue form this entire time Goku's like I'm trying to save my power and my energy stuff like that Goku gets surrounded and then it kind of just leaves off with the cliffhanger cliffhanger there and the announcer guy the, at the end of the episode is saying that there's 47 minutes left for the tournament which shows that this whole basically half hour episode was literally only a minute in real time for the Dragon Ball universe and it just reminded me back from the Frieza saga back from uh, back in Z if for some reason you haven't watched it 
go watch it because literally it, it was five minutes in like the course of like 40 episodes it feels like I, I'm I'm probably uh, exaggerating a little bit but that's just the best example I can give I guess but that's basically just the end the end of the episode uh, it, it leads off with the cliffhanger of Goku being surrounded by other different fighters three of them being the uh, trio the day de dangers all three of them and it just kind of leaves off there uh, next week or not rather not ra rather not next week because you're gonna see this on Tuesday uh, this Saturday we're gonna see <clears throat> this Saturday we're gonna see another episode of the tournament of power it's gonna be very exciting and actually tomorrow when you do see this because like I said you're gonna be watching this on Tuesday uh, is the next episode for Boruto uh, episode 14 if I believe so and that's gonna be really exciting as well and I'm going to go ahead and end up the video here. If you guys did enjoy, be sure to drop a like. And if you want to see more videos just like this, uh, be sure, please be sure to subscribe and all that stuff. If you want to see more terrible commentary, like I always say in every single video. <laughs> I'm, I'm obviously kidding. I like to poke fun at myself. But anyways, if you guys enjoyed, drop a like. If you want to see more, subscribe. I'll see you guys later. Peace out.